So how would you uh, describe how you feel about the program, the team, everything today, as opposed to January 4th when you played in that bowl game in Texas? I mean, I didn't play in the bowl game, but um, just having to change, you know, from last year, I mean, you know, last year was last year. Um, you know, it's a new team, new coaches, new energy, you know, around the building, and this is my third time around, so, um, you know, I feel like, you know, since I've been here, you know, the change that's been happening is like, you know, it's been pretty consistent with like different coaching staff, different coaching change. But you know, for me, it's just been like being able to adjust to it, and um, you know, being around new coaches and just being able to learn from them and uh, pick their brains a little bit and just you know develop my game and you know learn more and be being a student of the game. So like for me, that's what I look when I you know when there's a new change because I know it's, it's a, every coach that comes in has something different to teach. So I just um, you know. I just adjust to the change and, and adapt to you know the teaching that they gotta you know bring in. The accountability part is it get to the meeting ten minutes before it starts and you know, make the most. I of mean, it every yeah, second. you know, like I think being able to like the accountability, as you say, is is, is high. You know, and it, Coach Kelly demands a lot from us as uh, as far as being you know being on time, doing the little things, taking care of us because that's what you know is gonna take us far. You know, not not only in football but in life. So. I think taking care of the little things outside of football and keeping that same, you know, mentality, you know, to carry it on because consistent creating great habits is what's gonna, you know, take us far. So I think for him, you know, he emphasizes that around the building and around the team, um, to every single one of us. So I, I can respect that for him. So for sure. Ali, how big is this attention to detail now with this team? I think it's big because um, it's, it's yeah, it's big because like. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot we can, you know, it's a lot we can do for ourselves because, like, focusing on the little things as far as, you know, like, let's say you, you know, leave trash around, like picking it up, put in the trash can, or you know, you got like assignment. You got to, you know, it's, it's basically what carries on in the field to where, um, if you miss an alignment or assignment on the field, you know, you're gonna get cursed. That so I think taking care of that outside of, you know, football and then can't, like I said, carrying those great habits on the field. I think that's what's gonna carry on. I mean, yeah, but I think it's, it's emphasized more now. Um, and like I said, creating like great habits and emphasizing like the great details, paying attention to details, the little things, you know, which turn to big things. And for uh, Coach Kelly, I think that's that's been a pretty big focus around here since since he's been here. The, the coaches, uh, the assistants last year that I had a chance to talk to, they said that they would ride through Quaylen harder than anybody because they knew his potential and they wanted them to live up to it. But what, what, what can you say about Jaquelin's potential and what could this year mean? Um, I think he can only take his game higher. Um, you know, he's been he spent time around two different coaching staffs, so um, I think for him um, this year could be another stepping stone to being you know taking his game to another level. And I think the sky's the limit for him because you know he has a lot of potential, like you said. Um, so the only thing he can do is just you know take it in, taking the coaching, and um, being able to adjust to playing a different position and, and just making making himself you know a game changer. Really. Do you like the way practices are being run? Do you think you guys are maximizing? Your time? Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's pretty efficient. You know, going from um, period to period, transitioning and um, and. It, it, it gets it gives it gets a lot more out of us, and I think for us to you know being able to adjust to that, I think for us that's it's a pretty good change, you know, um, because you know we get we get a little break and then you know get right into it and just keep on going, you know, even though you know we're out there for you know a couple of hours, not too long. So I think it demands it demands more from us and, and, and makes us go even harder. How long practices last year? Uh, probably about two two hours, you know. Something like that, yeah.